Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassie. Today I'm going to be doing a keratin treatment on my hair. Uh, as you can imagine, it's very, very damaged and overprocessed. I have it damp right now, so that's why it looks like this, because it's supposed to be used on damp hair. Um, I, if you've been following my videos at all, or just kind of like social media or whatever, you know that I bleached it and then, or will bleach the roots, and then also went over it with Arctic Fox. It didn't go well. It's still not going well. I have this, this blue-yellow thing going on, and it was supposed to be dark green, so I'm going to be getting rid of it very soon. I don't know what I'll be doing next. I think blue, probably, because I like blue, <laughs> but um, not blue and yellow. That's a little weird. So anyway, if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe, and let's get started. So what I'll be using is the Affigy uh, Keratin 2-Minute Reconstructor. I have used Affigy's 2-Step um, Protein Treatment quite a few times in the past, and I really, really like it, but I've never used this before. I really like their protein treatment. I use it almost every time I bleach my hair, so this is going to be a new one. I'm going to use it kind of like a keratin blowout. I'll be putting heat uh, on the hair dryer on it, but I will read you the instructions that I should do. Uh, gently shampoo with FG shampoo, rinse thoroughly, and towel dry as usual. Squeeze half ounce into palm. Using fingertips, work evenly through the hair and into scalp. For maximum penetration, cover hair with warm towel or plastic cap for two minutes. Note, for extreme cases, leave on five minutes. For severe breakage problems, we recommend FG two-step protein treatment. Rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water, dry and style as usual. Okay, so I didn't use the Apogee shampoo. Uh, I just used like my regular shampoo and rinsed it out. Um, so I'll be just going in with this and saturating my hair really well. And then I will actually, instead of a warm towel, I'll be using my heat blow dryer. Um, yeah, we'll see how much of a difference that makes. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, so it's not as thick as I expected it to be. It's actually pretty thin. It smells really good though. Um, it's not overly like perfumey, which is great because I don't like overly perfumey stuff. Um, I like things to be kind of. I like things to smell good. I don't think I don't like things to smell like I douse myself with perfume. That was actually one thing I didn't like about Arctic Fox was it was really strongly smelled, but it smelled good. So I mean, at least there's that. Okay, I think I've got it pretty well saturated. It's all in my hair wipe that off. <laughs> I should have got a towel or something, so I'm just, like, using my pants like a fucking dweeb. But, uh, it's fine. So, I'm gonna be going in with my hair dryer on the heat setting. Let's see what happens. <laughs> and I'm back. So, I actually like it. Um, I obviously blue dried my hair and it's a little damp in the spots but not too bad. It feels a little bit better. I wouldn't say a I mean I wouldn't use it in replacement of like a bond repair treatment or even the effigy um protein treatment, but then it's not supposed to be. This is just kinda like almost like a mask or a deep mask. And that's kinda what my hair feels like now. Uh it's still definitely got some damage. I'm not sure how much it actually repaired. So I do like it. I'll probably use it again. I'm not sure how much I'd use it. I don't think it really did much as far as repairing. Maybe depositing keratin. I don't know, but uh, it definitely doesn't feel like after like a bond treatment or something. So, but then it's not supposed to be. So, <laughs> it's doing its job as far as I'm aware. I just, mm, I would probably use it as a mask or something. So, that's it for this video. I will probably be uh, color removing and re dyeing my hair soon <laughs> since it looks gross now. Um, I haven't decided what brand. I've been thinking about using the X Mondo brand. I've been really curious about it since Brad Mondo came out with it, so maybe. They're a little higher than my usual price point, but I know that they're, they've heard really good things about them. So let me know in the comments if you have a brand that you'd like to see tried, or a color that you think would look good, or anything like that, and I will see you next time. Bye!